Loop Recording Dash Cam. So, what is Loop Recording? It's a continuous loop recording dash cam records video by overriding older video with new footage. This allows the camera to keep recording even if the installed SD memory card is full, helping to ensure that the device never misses a minute of your drive. So what are your options when it comes to a loop recording dash camera? For the longest time, I thought the only option was one minute recording options. You would record multiple one minute recording files until the SD card was filled. Well, let's show you what we got for options. First things first, uh, the iRoad dash cameras. We're just going to basically show you that it gives you multiple different loop recording options. One minute continuous recording files. If there's any events or incidents, it'll give you a 20 second recording file. And it also does on the units that support manual recording. It also records a 20 second video file. Now, if we go over to one of the VOFO units, the VOFO offer a one, two, three, five, ten minute video recording. So that means you can record up to a 10 minute loop recording of an entire video before it goes to the next recording. That way, when the SD card is completely filled, it'll completely delete an old 10 minute recording. But it does give you these various different options depending on what you're planning on doing with your dash camera. I know for myself, I'm currently using a system in my vehicle, uh, the Viofo A139 Pro that I've been playing with over the last couple of weeks. And I've been putting it on 10 minute recording and I've actually been making video blogs while driving in my vehicle. So that actually serves purpose for me instead of me buying a GoPro or, so, or using my phone to record me while driving. This already has an interior camera and it serves the purpose for me for that application. Now, if we go over to the Thinkware cameras, the Thinkware cameras give you a one minute recording. So it gives you one minute recordings in the continuous file folder. When you have any incidents or impacts or events, it's going to give you typically 20 second video files. If you do choose to use the manual recording button on a Thinkware dash camera, you're going to get a one minute length video file. And if we go to the GNAT, GNAT will give you uh, one minute continuous record time files. Then if there's any events or incidents, it'll give you 20 second video files. And for there is a brand new GNET that does offer manual recording and the manual recording on the GNET is doing a 20 second video file. So that is kind of where you go in terms of loop recording. So there are lots of dash cameras on the market that you can buy for cheap on the internet, on Amazon, and a lot of those actually don't have loop recording. I've actually installed some pretty expensive dash cameras where the customer actually has to go and format the SD card manually themselves. Now keep in mind, if you are somebody that doesn't want to overwrite the videos and you may want the loop recording to be turned off, you can actually do that in all of these dash camera units. So especially on the Thinkware, if you actually go in, I'm just going to show you right here that you can actually go in and uncheck all of these boxes here. And when you uncheck all of these boxes, it will give you the option to not uh, overwrite any of these old videos, which means now you don't have loop recording, which means once the SD card's filled, you are going to have to format it 
by either holding the button on the dash camera for five seconds to format the whole memory card, or B, you're going to have a, have to have another memory card available to you to stick in to the unit. Depending on the application, I do recommend always having the loop recording turned on. When you look at like a GNET or iRoad system, you can also go in there and turn it on so that uh, on whether or not you want it to record over old files. And we're just gonna show you right here how on a particular, on an iRoad system, how you can turn that feature on or off. All the systems that we support here at Safe Drive Solutions all have the loop recording feature, and that is something that we strongly recommend to all of our clients. But just keep in mind, if an accident happens, we do recommend retrieving the video file footage right away. That way you don't have any challenges with overriding over top of your old footage. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to Feel free to leave comments down below. I'm Ben from Safe Drive Solutions, your dash cam specialist. I hope you enjoyed this video.